So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this lab and if you see when you start the lab you see like this just simply refresh the browser window and the user details will be live over here. So just try to reload and now open the looker incognito window. Now follow the video carefully so that you are able to complete this lab without any issue. Now here basically you have to enter the credentials which is mentioned over the lab instruction. Let me show you how you have to do it. Make sure to enter the password correctly and after that the looker page will open. Now here basically the first thing we have to do is enabling of development mode. You can see at the bottom you have to just click on that toggle only. First of all wait for the page to fully load. Now once you click on this development mode the page will reload itself. After that we will initiate all the steps. Here click on explore and after that click on the order items. Now here basically please pay attention to each and every step from basically inventory items you have to just click on these two dots under cost and just select average. After that you have to just click on add custom measure and from here you have to carefully select cost and just add average. Now for the name come back again to the lab instruction and from here only just select the name over here. Select here you can see here under this section you have to select the name paste carefully and in the field just change it to us dollar you have to change under us dollar do not change it into percentage so just change it like this all things are correct save it you have saved it now the next step lies now the next step is here you have to just go to the product name in the basically inventory items only click on it this thing is added now the next step is that under user sections you have to just add a filter like this and just type USA. Now after that we have to just search for state and here we have to create a group. So how we'll create it click on these three dots click on group. Now for the group name come over here at the, this section okay which section it is let me show you first of all under task number two copy the name paste over here and for value. Now many of you may type, may try to type it directly but it will become difficult. So I am recommending just follow as I am doing. Now copy it carefully, paste over here, again paste one by one and the last one. Now here please pay attention to this important step. Make sure to enable this check my progress, sorry check box. If you miss this you won't be able to get the score. Now this thing is successfully done. Now here. Now here we have to add a filter. Okay. Now here just come over here and add a filter and just change it to it greater than 200. All these things are done. Now you have to simply run the query. Just run the query and wait for some time. Query is completed. Come to the lab instruction and check the score. You may get the score or you may not get the score. In that case you need to wait for some time. Meanwhile let's cover the last task also. So here is the order count. Okay, here is the order count. Just paste it over here. Select this one. And now here you can see order count. Now here you can see the settings icon, basically the gear icon we call it. Click on calculation percentage column. Now after that you have to run it. Now many times what happens, you get unnecessary error. You are unable to get the full score on this task. In that case, how you can recover it, I am telling you. Here you can see we are not getting the score. In such case what you need to do, you need to just keep trying again and again to check the score. Still if you are not going, you have to just again follow the same step. To do, you can again click on this calculation percentage column and rerun the query again. And then check the score, you will absolutely get the score. For other labs, you can check the playlist. Do like the video and subscribe the channel guys, have a great day.